today's video, I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite subject matters of all time, and that is shoes. For the past couple of months, I've been seeing a lot of people make these videos where they buy like weird shoes from Wish, weird shoes from Amazon, and usually it's just those two websites, Amazon and Wish. Over the past like six months, I've seen some of the most ludicrous, insane, literally, you look at these shoes and you're like, but why were those made? So I decided that I wanted to deep dive on the internet myself and see what weird, horrific shoes that I could find and try here on my own channel from Wish and Amazon. That's what we're gonna be doing today. And I'm very, very excited and also a little bit afraid. I think I literally might need life alert. I'm probably gonna save the best for last, the most horrifying pair that I have for last because I hope I'm not gonna break an ankle. Anyway, uh, very first, I wanna show you guys something incredibly disappointing for my life. And I don't just mean the fact that I chose to just have a green screen today. Just, that's my backdrop unless I'm figuring out how to do something really cool in editing right now, if not just questioning my life choices. Uh, but other than that, let's pull out a big bag of disappointment from Wish because you guys, I was so excited for these shoes. Literally, I was gonna start wearing them now because it is still summer here in Texas and their sandals, but look at this. Look at what this is, fish sandals. They're supposed to be fish, fishes. It's like you just look like you just took a live fish, grabbed it out of the water and shoved your foot in it, which is honestly just a disgusting concept. But look at what they sent me, you guys. One, one fish shoe. What am I gonna do with one shoe? Wish, wish.com. We're gonna try on the one shoe in just a moment. Oh, it feels they're a spongy so far, um, but I only have one of them. But I thought I'd still try it on. I mean, they actually feel like shockingly spongy and comfortable. I thought that they were gonna be like really hard plastic and they really are disgustingly, horrifyingly, amazingly realistic. All right, time to try on the trout. You guys, where, where is your fishy buddy? Do you miss your other half? They are so hideous and ridiculous that if I had a pair of them, I would definitely wear them. Should I try and like order these again? Get them in stock by the summer? They definitely are a looser feeling shoe, but how the tail is like curved back here, I don't feel like it's immediately gonna fall off. I mean, it's comfortable enough to like run around town and do errands in. I'm not sure if like the camera payoff is that great down there. I don't know if you really can tell that it's like a fish. <laughs> I feel like it's kind of only funny if you're like standing and looking down at your own foot and you're like, there's a fish there. Too bad they only sent me one shoe. Or maybe they did send me two shoes, but one got lost in the mail. It's like what's in the center of a Tootsie Roll pop. Like we're, we're never gonna know. We're never gonna know what happened to that other fish. Other pair of shoes that I also got from Wish is another pair of sandals and they're another pair that looks like realistically like something. Um, it's supposed to be cabbages, which, oh my God, <gasps> the leaves look fresh from Subway. That's, did you guys hear that Subway bread is made out of yoga mats? Allegedly, that's kind of horrifying. Um, I'm really concerned about my health since for years, all I wanted to eat every single day was Subway. Moving along, I've got lettuce shoes. Oh my God, there's even like a hang tag. You guys, I feel like this is one of the wish experiences where sometimes you get something that's a very, very obscure knockoff. Like the amount of knockoff items I find on Wish, like just knocking off the most random obscure brands in the world is Cotties. Caudies, are you a victim? Oh my God, how are they conjoined? Oh, there we go. <gasps> oh, once separated, they look twice as lettuce-y. Ew. Also like very spongy. They honestly like blend in with the backdrop. What was I thinking? These look so realistically like lettuce. I'm sure you guys can see. I almost described it as veiny lettuce and I'm really just disgusted with myself at that. And it actually looks like slices of lettuce like on the soles. It's once again, surprisingly like flexible and foamy. Oh, look at that. So yeah, these feel really, really soft. 
I like them. I think that these were like $10. If I can remember the price of anything, you have to wait like half of your lifespan for items to come from Wish. So I literally don't remember any of the values of anything because I probably ordered it like three months ago. All right, time to slip my feet into these lettuce leaves and ooh, these are like the texture of the lettuce leaves. It feels weird, but they are like, they're soft and squishy. Yes, look at that. Probably not the best to be filming these with like a solid green backdrop, but you get the picture. Hopefully you get the picture. Lettuce leaves, I've got lettuce feet with my lettuce dreams. I don't know what lettuce dreams would be. On a scale of wish shoes, I am impressed. I feel like I'm gonna be able to wear these for as long as I wanna wear lettuce leaves on my feet. They're pretty cute, what can I say? They're like $10. All right, up next we've got shoes from Amazon and oh my God, what are these? I'm just gonna take one for the team here and say, I unironically love the look of Crocs. Like, have you guys seen the Croc high heels floating around? I think it's like a meme. I think it's meant to be like the ugliest shoe on the planet. I seriously want them. I would wear them happily. I also have the Croc bag. Have you guys seen Croc bag? Yes. Um, I have goth Crocs. Guys haven't seen those yet. I have Croc platforms. I got regular Crocs and now I have Croc claws. So uh, these are literally called claws with a Z because they're very sassy. So they're called claws shoes. But I mean, they are definitely like in the style of Crocs, except for they are big giant claws. Now I have already tried these on. And the one thing that I will say is I kind of wish that they were molded like a regular crock on the inside, but then just had like this outside large um, claw shape. If that makes any sense, because since they are so much wider in the toe area than a regular crock, like your foot just feels like it's dancing around in there. So they are a little bit less comfortable than normal Crocs for that reason. Um, but they do still have like the soles and the support system of regular Crocs. So I'm kind of torn. You guys, I think that like deep seated within me, I really wanted to be the school mascot when I was in school and a cheerleader and I wanted to do acting. I just wanted to do a lot of stuff when I was younger. So is this like, do I get to be a mascot foot if I wear this? Does that sound creepy? The more I say that, the less I like that. Time to step into the claw. Um, yeah, I literally, I kind of don't know what to say about these. Like I said, it's just like the fronts of the toes are so big and roomy that they feel like the type of shoe that would fall off your foot at any minute. Now, since they do have the croc strap on the ankle, I don't really think that they're gonna fall off, but they just definitely feel like they're gonna fall off, you know what I mean? So I just don't feel like I would be able to get as much wear out of these as I do out of like a normal pair of Crocs where like I'll walk around the neighborhood, walk around the park, do some errands, you know, anything for which you can no longer elect to be barefoot is like where I can wear normal Crocs. Moving on, that is it from this box. Goodbye box. Oh my God, it almost took me out with it. Next, I've got two shoes from Amazon and they're both from a brand called Pleaser. Ugh. How fast can you say demonetized? Um, Yes, sexier than ever. Now this brand on a whole just makes so many amazing shoes and it's like amazing in two different ways. We're like, wow, that looks so cool. And then you're like, but why? Why would you ever wear that? Is my ankle gonna break? It's kind of like, you know, 50-50 life experience. But these actually are just strange, but also wearable. I don't remember what they're called, but look at what's happening here. It's like a boa feather but on your foot. I don't know why I like this so much, but I do. I just love so many like different 
textures. What is going on here? Oh, it's like wrapped. Oh my God, I'm just now unwrapping it. So it's like a clear um, PVC top of the shoe with a PVC strap. Honestly, these I feel like are really easy like baby heels to wear. Eh, I don't know, maybe not. They're kind of platformy. Normally I find shoes like this pretty easy to deal with. Look at that. It's just so much fun to like do that too. Now I can see where these would not be practical if you live anywhere where it snows or rains or some other weather that's just not like hot, sun, and dry. Um, because what happens like if you're out and it starts raining? Do you know what I mean? Then what? What are you gonna do? You're gonna have wet feathers all over your feet and there's something very sharp back here. I don't know what, but this shoe keeps stabbing me. There's like a, a hidden needle back here. I don't know. I just put these on and I forgot to give you guys notes about how the foot felt gliding into the shoe for the first time. Ah, my feet are flying. They've got wings. And also these shoes have many sharp things. I know I said it before. I'm gonna say it again. I don't know what is stabbing me inside of these shoes, but it's kind of unpleasant on a scale of one to 10. Um, okay, let me, watch me fall in these, you guys. Some of the tamest. Can you see it? Um, the plastic is like a little grabby on my foot. You know what I mean? Like how plastic is. So yeah, just like I speculated, um, these are pretty easy to walk in for me. I'm not sure what the length of the heel is. Maybe five inches, maybe six inches, but you guys know me. I've been walking in heels for a very long time. So yeah, I feel like on a scale of my personal life, these are not hard to walk in. They look kind of like weird. I mean, I like them from a distance. I feel like they just look fuzzy, but up close, you can see their feathers. So yeah, let me do a couple more jogs in place. I think these are cute, I don't know. Woo! Oh my God, nearly died, almost died. Those are those. All right, before I show you guys like, the super frightening ones that I regret purchasing already, I'm sneaking in one pair from Dolls Kill. This is not sponsored. Um, I've been meaning to show these to you guys for Ever, and I've still never tried them on. Like I just took them out of the box. These are so bizarre and strange. I just had to bring them here for this video. It's a perfect fit. Uh, they are cheeseburger shoes with all the toppings. Look at the cheese. The cheese even feels like cheese. And I love the detail of like the bun here having sesame seeds on top. And the lettuce is actually textured. Like I don't even know if you guys are gonna be able to see that, but it's like fuzzy. Oh my god, I, now that I'm thinking about it though, fuzzy lettuce would be very, very disturbing. Also, are these the most practical shoes I've shown you guys so far today somehow? Cheeseburger shoes. All right, um, the burgers are on my feet. Doesn't that sound like a code phrase that you could have with your friends? Mom, dad, the burgers are on my feet. Um, there is literally no way to capture like my face and my feet in the same frame. Oh my God, I wish I was like a river dancer. Why do I just naturally like think I can like see stuff on TV and people doing stuff on TV? And then I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I can do that. I'm sure they've just been practicing for like the past 35 years of their life. But you know what? There's like, this is a bad camera angle. I'm disappointed with the camera quality right now. I'm not so disappointed with my river dancing. Okay, coming through. Can you see feet? Have I moonwalked long enough in the cheeseburgers? Yes. Uh, these are actually like surprisingly comfortable and easy to walk in. I mean, they're like flat. They're like tennis shoes. How could they not be? The only weird thing about these is that they're cheeseburgers. It's a burger on my foot. Are you guys ready to see possibly one of the stupidest purchases I've ever made in my life? Can we get a drum roll, please? That's not a drum roll. Um, that's a strange gallop. So uh, these are once again from Amazon, once again from the brand Pleaser. Although I'm not sure I'm gonna be pleased by this life experience. Uh, yes. Why do 
do I keep doing that? I wish I could come up with a style name for these. Beyond? <laughs> it just says beyond. Uh, beyond my comprehension is what we should call them. Okay, oh my god. This is amazing. This is the first... <laughs> This is so insane. Look at this. Look at, what is this? What are those? This, do you know the phrase, what are those? This is the most what are those moment that I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I did think that they were meant to be walked in, uh, but I'm just now looking down in the box and this other one comes with a warning. A big old warning sign. I think that this is the second time in my life now that I've had shoes come with a warning label. If you guys remember, a does this thing really work that I did like back in September. I had these really insane shoes that looked like ice skates and those also came with a warning, but I was able to put those on and kind of walk around in them a bit. Granted, very shakily, thought I was gonna die every moment of that day, but these literally say, warning due to extreme height, nine inch and 10 inch, 10 inch, 10 inch beyond shoe are strictly meant for show purposes. These heels are intended to be used in a sitting or lying down position, not for walking or dancing. Wearers slash users assume all risks and full responsibility for any injury sustained from the utilization of these products. Why? Why wasn't this warning on Amazon? Maybe I should have gotten another pair. Uh, okay, so now I, like, I thought you guys might be mad at me if I chickened out and, like, didn't try and walk in these. But now there's a freaking warning. There's a warning that basically says, if you walk in these, you will break your ink, brink, brink, you'll break your ink, and then don't come knocking on our door about it. That's amazing. Can you literally just do that and then you just like have no liability anymore if you do that? Amazing. Oh my God. I am really disappointed with my hair up here. It looks like I have a freaking bad toupee. That is not very sassy, is it? Um, but this coffee is sippy sippy swamp fam. <sighs> All right. Uh, well, you guys, I don't know if I should try and walk in these. Should I try and walk in these? Even though the instructions very explicitly tell me not to. I also have to say this kind of looks smaller than my foot. Is my foot this size? That doesn't look real. But you know what? We're just gonna, we're gonna give it a good college try. That's a great, it's a great camera angle. Look, I bet I could stand in this, huh? I need to get another cam- Oh my God, this is horrible. <laughs> I hate this. <gasps> Why do I do the things I do? Let me do that again. Oh my God, it feels like I don't have legs anymore. Oh, there's paper in it. I was like, why won't my foot fit? <laughs> I should be showing you guys. It feels like there's still paper or maybe like a small, elf or something in this shoe it doesn't it doesn't feel like it's going oh, foam that's what it was okay ah, ah. this is not easy this is a grotesque look at my knees <laughs> this is how high my knees are now because my my feet are 10 more inches off the ground wait if you add 10 inches to my height i'm 5'3 somebody out there that does math the thinking against the warning that i was given i am still gonna try and do it just for a second because I'm insane. I'm like kind of getting the hang of scooting around. I feel like a crab. The tallest shoe I think I ever have stood up in is an eight inch heel. So this is two more than that. Woo! Oh my God, can she do it? She can do it. Yes. Now, the one thing I'm not gonna do in these is jump because I do love my life. Look at that, overconfident. Yes. All right, can I jump? Oh my God, look at what I'm doing. Why am I like this? Why am I like this? Okay, um, <laughs> I take your warning, madam, and I laugh at it. Uh, yes, I just jumped in them. <laughs> what can I say? Chaotic good. It describes me. Uh, sometimes just plain chaotic. Uh, oh, yeah, see, this is just, look at that. I keep hitting the table. I keep forgetting that I have like a, a 10 inch extension on my foot. 
Yeah, you guys, I don't know what to say about these except for just maybe just say no. They are fun. They are shocking. If you want to freak your friends and family out, uh, maybe buy them. I don't, since they come with a warning, I'm also just going to warn you guys to not buy them unless you just are a person like me and you like to just see a lot of shoes as like interior decoration. I think that these make a really awesome like crazy statement shoe as home decoration, but probably don't stand or jump or walk or run in them. Ding fate! Ha ha ha! Okay. They actually feel like surprisingly steady. I almost feel as if I could like dance in them. Whew. Oh my god. When I'm not like clutching the table for dear life, it's like taking off the training wheels. It definitely gets a lot spookier, let me tell you. I feel a lot less steady. Oh my god. They're so heavy too. I'm gonna stop stomping around. I feel like I got through, this was like a challenge. This was the challenge portion of the video. I survived. Uh, yeah. Oh my God, I feel like that's like a weapon, honestly. Here's Johnny. Um, yeah, don't buy him. I don't know. I like the look of them, but I don't like the risk of them. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, that's all she wrote, folks. Um, I have come deeply undone during the process of this filming, so be sure and let me know how much you hate me filming with a green screen background. I'm never gonna do that again. Um, anyway, you guys, let me know if you guys liked this video. Do y'all want me to keep scouring the internet for more weird pairs of shoes? Or maybe I should do it with like a different type of fashion accessory. I just feel like shoes are kind of like my specialty. But let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much I enjoyed filming it and I always love doing the background research for videos like this like just digging through pages and pages and links and links on the internet to find all of these truly insane masterpieces we tried on today. Also you guys I do think I'm gonna come in if I if I film another one of these videos with a three camera angle I feel like we need to do like a Brady Bunch camera setup or something next time. This room is like relatively clean right now so I thought we'd be able to get you know all the angles but I just think it's just it's just not big enough this entire room is just not big enough for my head and my feet. Does that mean I have a big head or big feet? You know what they say about that. No I don't. Why would I say that out loud? Anyway <laughs> I love you guys. Thank y'all so, so much for hanging out with me today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all again very, very soon. Bye! That was horrifying. Okay, bye!